So the first match is this all Chinese mixed doubles semi final. Of course, the first of two all Chinese semi finals. The last two matches between these four have gone to three sets. So let's get the players out on court, shall we? To introduce them is the PA announcer, Howard Bentham. Ladies and gentlemen, the first match on court is the mixed doubles! Please welcome, from China, the number one seeds, Zhang Nan and Zhao Yun Li! Please welcome their opponents, also from China, the number six seeds, Zhu Chen and Ma Jin. So the players making their way to court. Here come the outsiders, but they're not rank outsiders, are they, Xu Chen and Ma Jin, after all? Ma Jin is the defending champion, having won this in 2010. In, in some respect, this is the China's weakest event. Yeah. Only winning four gold medals over the 19 editions of the World Championships since they were first hosted in 1977, but well, they've got two in the semi-finals here, guaranteed place in the final. I'm Richard Kaufman, and a warm welcome wherever you are in the world. Alongside me is a former twice semi-finalist of World Championships in the mixed doubles, Jill Clark alongside me. Jill, we've got two all-Chinese clashes uh, to start the day with, but you look throughout the uh, afternoon and evening session here, and uh, we've got some really good matchups, starting with this one. Yes, we certainly have. Uh, I mean, uh, that's what you would expect at semi-final stage of World Championships. Terrific matchups. This will be interesting because, as far as this pair is concerned, in the red shirts, Zhu Chen, he's uh, been a bronze medalist a year ago in men's doubles. But as you say, Ma Jin, she is the holder of the world title in mixed doubles with Zhen Bo. Their world ranking over only 16, I say only 16, because they've only played seven tournaments towards that world ranking. They only formed their partnership earlier this year. The second tournament they ever played, the All England, they won. Yep. So, you know, to say that they're outsiders, yes, because their ranking is lower, but when you look at their results, they've got every chance of going the full distance. Well, it's been a... Fairly straightforward for them so far. Come through three matches in straight sets. As you can see, they haven't been longer on court than 36 minutes. That was in yesterday's match against the Singapore pair of uh, Tri Chan and Yao. I think the interesting thing there is that they haven't come up against a seeded pair. Semi final of the World Championships, and you're playing against your first seeded pair in the semi final. Well, they certainly are now as they come up against the world number one pair, don't they? They know what's ahead of them. They know their opponents very well indeed. Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei. World number one as they have been for the last 27 weeks. Four victories from seven events this year, including two Super Series events in three attempts of trying. They've only lost three times this year, although one of them, of course, was against Shu and Ma. Mm -hmm. 
is a very impressive career win loss, isn't it? They have been top dogs, if you like, as far as mixed doubles are concerned. And an item together, I think, as uh, boyfriend and girlfriend, if uh, the speculation is right. Yes, <laughs> that's what I understand. So the uh, the Chinese team are, are a little bit cagey about things like that. And they've only been 40 minutes on court in their longest match. That was against Fuchs and Michaels. So both these pairs have so far come through in straight sets. You look at their head-to-head -head meeting, Jill, and they met three times previously all this year. 2-1 to Zhao and Zhang, but there have been some very close matches. Their last one were, you know, took until the third set, 25-23. Just look at the uh, umpire there, Hu Long Hu of China, and the service judge, Eva Cassell of Switzerland. It suggests we're in for a, a very tight match here. Yes, it does indeed, and I think this will be very keenly contested because they are both new partnerships in relative terms. I mean, they uh, obviously with Marjin and Zhu Chen, uh, they only formed their partnership this year, but as far as the number one seeds are concerned, last year was their first full year on the World Tour in mixed doubles, playing mixed doubles together. And uh, so they are both, you know, vying for positions. Obviously, you know, you've got to think that the world number ones are automatically going to qualify for the Olympic Games, but the, the, there's so many strong pairs, and with only 16 qualifiers for Olympics, you know, this could have quite an influence. Once Zhu Chen and Ma Jin have got their optimum number of tournaments, 10 at the moment, they've only played seven, their world ranking will shoot up. So, you know, there's more riding on this than, than just a world championship medal. Ladies and gentlemen, Zhao Yunlei there. On my right, Zhang Lan, Zhao Yunlei. In the blue. China. She'll be in the uh, women's doubles later. Against Ponapa and Gutta with uh, Jiang Jing. On my left, Xu Chen, Ma Jin, China. Ma Jin, Sir, to Zhang Lan. Level play. So the first of the ten semi-finals here at Wembley today in these World Championships in London. Yes, well, if this opening rally is any indication of what's to come, this is going to be fast and furious. Again, plays the winner. Interesting, you, you saw his symbols there behind his back. You pointed out to me earlier in the week, of course, Jill, that there's a, a big TV monitor screen uh, right in the middle of the auditorium above the big London bus where they came in. And if the players actually looked up, they'd be able to see what symbols the opposition are using. Yeah. And the fact that they're both in the Chinese camp, they may understand what those symbols mean. Yeah. Wow. Xu <laughs> Chen with one round the back there. He started fairly confidently, hasn't he? And another oh, one. My goodness. He's showing off now. Yeah, super play. What a wonderful so rally. OK, it's cheeky to do this one, once, two. isn't it? OK. And twice. Well, that is showing off, isn't it? on like this because we're in for a 
terrific next hour or so, aren't we? It was a good return of serve. Set up for Alec. Three, four. Well, the apology was long and sincere, I think, there from... Yesterday we were talking about Margin's movement at the front of the court. But I think there's one thing to look out for with uh, Margin. She, she does cover the front exceptionally well. But an awful lot of the time she does just block the shuttle rather than really put pressure on. And I think that's maybe one of the differences between these two pairs because I think Zhao Yun Lei, she, when she gets to the net and she gets involved, she's got far more variety. Wasted opportunity, real indecision between Zhu Chen and Ma Jin. And then Zhang Nang makes the error. He won't be happy with that. Both these female players are so physically strong. It won't be a weakness if they get pushed to the back of the court. In fact, both of them have been in final of World Championships women's doubles, which just shows their, their all-round capabilities. That's a good return of serve. Just tapping the shuttle in a downward direction, using the mid-court area enough pace on it to make it very awkward for Ma Jin. But the shuttle would have landed way in front of Zhu Chen. And that's the idea, get it past the net player, but make the shuttle land in front of the rear court player. Six, four. So 
Now it looks nervous to me. Seven, Jang six. Zhang Nam being a little bit nervous. You're, I mean, he is sort of the baby of the, the four out there, just 21. Yes, and he's the only player on court that's not won a world championship medal prior to this year. Obviously, he's guaranteed at least a bronze by being in the semi-final, but the other three players on court all have experience of world championship semi-finals. <laughs> of times you noted early on that Zhu Chen was very relaxed that he was playing round the back shots and you know that one was ambitious is that a negative thing though that he's trying to play shots it's unusual Straight points for the number one seeds. No, oh, that's too loose. You cannot afford to do that against Xiao Yunlei. She will pounce on that. So now four straight points. Well, that will help settle any nerves, won't it? Pushed it long. So it's silver. And of course, eight, ten. Chen Nang and Zhao Yun Lei, silver medalists at the Asian Games at the end of last year. trod on this on the shuttle at the end of that rally so delighted with her play so 11 8 the uh, interval lead then for the world number one pair the victory came in there second event together the all england championships and they beat zhang and zhao on their way did 20 seconds to china margin 20 seconds okay. of course margins 
gold winning partner from a year ago, Zheng Bo, straight after the World Championships in Paris, 2010, got thrown out of the squad. Now to teach him for winning gold. Yeah. Well, cited that he was his attitude was not right in day-to-day -day tra training, which uh, well, we don't know about sure. that. It's a decisive lead, isn't it? Three points, Jill, in mixed doubles, because it's very hard to win a point on your serve. Yeah. I think that last rally, though, great example of Zhao Yunlei being very, very positive at the front of the court. It's all about good serving and return of serve. Service over. Well, that proving your point, Richard. You know, it was a good serve from Zhao Yunlei. And even so, lose the rally in double quick time. with in the point of their opponents. Oh. Oh. And again, the return of serve. So good. Good. Cool. Great judgment. It was just wide. It's interesting, Richard, that we've got a a Chinese umpire. They've been very careful all week to make sure they have neutral, but because it's two Chinese oh. pairs playing, mm -hmm. it's about the only opportunity that uh, yeah. a Chinese court official would have of officiating on semi-finals day. Yeah, or well, Long Hu would have been unemployed otherwise. Oh. Yeah, it's very aggressive, isn't it? Chang Nan. match in which the uh, Chinese umpire is officiating. Oh! Just sense oh. that Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei are beginning to stamp their authority on this opening game. One or two errors creeping into the game of Zhu Chen. his partner. It's very difficult when you're playing against players from your own country because you practice together on a regular basis and, and probably no more so than in China because 
you know, it's legendary how hard they train and how much they practice. So they'll be practicing against each other, you know, two or three times a day. So they'll know each other's styles of games inside out. Yeah, they've been training together for the, the month build up to these championships. In Qingdao, I believe. Is that right? Yeah. And uh, as you say, they've met each other three times in competition already this year. Never mind the training as well. Lovely rally, this. Wonderful. Oh. It's not over yet, though. <laughs> Brilliant array of skills there. Brilliant. Oh, my goodness. But it's point of the day. It could end up being the point of the day. That's some absolutely stunning badminton in this rabbit. What a net shot. And then the response from Zhang Nan was absolutely extraordinary. Well, Zhu Chen may regret the fact that he played the net shot in the first place. He had an opportunity to kill it. He didn't take that opportunity thought his opponents were so far out of position a net shot would suffice but as we saw it didn't a little uh, taste of why they're world number one these two yeah and it is astonishing since they formed their partnership 16 individual tournaments and of those 16 tournaments 10 finals winning seven of them that's what i call an impressive start to a partnership Oh, she touched the net. Faulted by the umpire. Well spotted. 13, yeah. It was probably going wide, wasn't it? Yeah, it might well have done. Xu Chen and Ma Jin were lucky to get away with that because there was a huge gap across court and Zhao Yun Lei just trying to guide the shuttle into the open space. some respect because we expected her to put that away and it would have been 17-15. Yeah, psychologically at this stage of the match and that's obviously very important, big influence. Yeah. That's short. Yeah. Flight to smash that time from Zhu Chen. Great power. <laughs> well, he's flamboyant, to say the least. <laughs> he should shoot Ken. He might shake his head.
Shu Chen and Ma Jin hit. Deep in discussion. She's limping a little bit. And uh, Yeah, she's got that right ankle heavily strapped. Yeah, they were they were chatting away there and I think well, obviously I can't understand what Margin's saying, but I didn't actually notice her her twisted. I didn't see the instant where she winced, but I have a nasty feeling feeling that she's going to call this a day. Because there was I think there was a shot where she knocks it into the net. Oh yes yeah. I did see that. Oh my goodness. That was nasty. Yes. Well. Well, one of the deputy referees, Yamada, from Japan, calling the tournament doctor. No, no treatment. Just bleeding. Doctor Ashwin Patel. In the foot. In the foot. Well, oh, Marjin. Okay, quickly. Who's the uh, defending champion, if you like, in these mixed doubles? This would be uh, some way for her to lose grip on the. Well, gold, wouldn't it? Oh, it would be tragic. And it was really developing into a very exciting, entertaining mixed doubles encounter. Well, I didn't see it with in, in real time, as it were, but looking at that again, that looked very nasty. And she's obviously got a weakness there anyway. <laughs> Just gave away the leg, didn't it? Yes, it's definitely the ankle. Yeah. When you jolt in, in the way that you do, when you're having to stop, start, move one way and the other, it, it, it's it's surprising. It doesn't happen more often, really. Yeah, and in mixed doubles, because the woman tends to try and be at the at the net more than in any other discipline. There's so much sideways movement. Well, she's great at doing it, Margin in particular. She's she? particularly good at it, but that's probably, you know, puts more strain on the ankles than than running forward and back. It's the sideways movement, I think, that probably is going to test that more than anything. Well, she's obviously going to try and carry it. Might as well give it to the end of this, this set, I would have thought. Well, absolutely. But, of course, two Chinese pairs playing against each other, the coaching staff are not involved. I wouldn't be at all surprised if one of the coaches is so concerned about her and, and how bad the injury is that one of the coaches might come on and just say, look, are you OK? We don't need long-term damage. It's well wide. And, and for the two of them here, it's... Game yeah, it's game points Six. now, but it's, it's very hard, say, for example, for, for, for Xu Chen here to concentrate fully on the job at hand when he might be thinking, I've, I've got to protect my partner. Oh. Yes. That's a great return, so goodness me, you won't see better than that. Perfect. And with Margin's uh, game, as we're oh. saying, mobility is such a key part of it. It's robbed them of... Uh, one of their biggest weapons, this bet. Oh! Yeah. Well, disappointing way to end a, a super set in all respects, really. The injury and then that serving to the net from, from Margin. Well, she's got an injury problem and they got another problem. They are set down to Zhang and Zhao here. First set going 21-17. I'm surprised there's no physio treatment during the uh, the interval here, really. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. His uh, former world and Olympic champion, Zhang Jun, just finding out how bad it is. He's obviously... And uh, Tian Bingyi. Yeah, they're calling it a day. I'm not surprised. Well, it's 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 sensible in some respect. It's disappointing in another because, of course, we were looking forward to this. They played uh, three matches before. The last two of them have gone to three sets. And the way this match had begun, you thought, well, there's every chance this is going to be another thriller. But I'm afraid it's a, a walkover in the end. Come oh.
So, there you go. You never know what's going to be around the corner, do you? And unfortunately, that's a, a miserable way in some respect to start this semi-finals day at the World Championships. So it's the world number one pair of Zhang Nan and Zhao Yunlei who uh, get through to the final of these world championships in London. And I would say not the way they, they would have wanted to as well, Jill. No, indeed. I mean, it's uh, very, very disappointing, especially for Margin as the defending champion, as you say. So, Chris Ackup and uh, Imogen Banker, Liliana Natsir and uh, Ahmad of Indonesia. Now it's the world number one. They will meet in the final should they come through their encounter later on this evening. The world number one pair then through, unfortunately, because of that injury through Margin's ankle.